But we're back here in the Bay Area. The day is here for Swifties in the Bay. The Ares Tour comes to Levi's Stadium tonight. Fans are excited. But it's not just them. Local businesses and hotels are actually looking forward to this weekend, too. We've seen this happen in cities across the nation. Several cities where Taylor Swift has stopped say her tour has helped boost travel and tourism. Jocelyn Moran, live from Levi Stadium. Jocelyn, a lot of fans are expected to come tonight, but a lot of fans are already there this morning. I'd love to see it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A lot of fans are very excited. You know, Amanda, I've talked about this. I don't consider myself a Swifty, but I can really respect Taylor Swift and the influence and the impact she is having right now. Yes, fans are excited. And as a Swifty, Amanda, you know all too well just the kind of influence that she has for fans, but also businesses and hotels. So we talked to a restaurant and they were telling us that they're expecting around 400 to 500 people this weekend. And that is a lot more than they usually get. Businesses like Burke's Restaurant in Santa Clara are coming up with unique drinks on their menu as Swifties take over the city. We kind of want to make a special for them when they come here. They leave here already in the spirit of the show. Robert Thomas is the general manager at Burke's Restaurant, just about a five-minute drive from Levi Stadium where Taylor Swift is performing. He says reservations are filling up fast, but they take walk-ins as well. If you're feeling 22, you can order the Lavender Haze. So we start off with uh, the Empress Gin which is a very nice gin that we use for this. Juan Campos helped come up with the ingredients for the drinks. For the lavender haze, you also have honey, soda, lavender bitters, and of course. A little bit of the edible glitter. And you can see this glitter in there. There we go. Lavender, lavender haze. But don't worry, if you're younger than 21, there's the bad blood, edible made with precision portion. to make it delicate. Elegant and tasty. Tastes like the Taylor Swift drink. Uh -huh. It does. I get <laughs> having these extra shows coming in, bringing in the kind of money they're bringing in. We all benefit. The hotels, the restaurants, uh, everybody wins. It's a win situation. It's not just restaurants. Hotels are benefiting too. They're either booked or at near maximum capacity. Christine Lawson is the president and CEO of Discover Santa Clara. She says she's been shocked to see Taylor Swift's impact locally. It's pretty unprecedented, I feel like. I truly feel that she represents really, um, really incredible qualities. I mean, this is a young woman who's grown up in a very challenging industry. I think she's just genuine. I think she's kind of just a real person. I love how goofy she is, like kind of a dork. So I find her really relatable. And also she's like really smart. Natalie here is going to Taylor Swift's concert tonight. She was also at her Seattle concert. It was bananas down there. I've been to Seattle before, but the hotels and everything were so busy. Regardless if you follow Taylor Swift or not. Do you listen to any Taylor Swift music? No, I think my daughter does. <laughs> the influence she has is undeniable locally, nationally and globally. We stepped up extra, we, we're ready, we're ready. We ordered plenty more food, we had plenty of drinks, we're, we're ready. They're hoping that what they see this weekend in terms of business coming in is beyond their wildest dreams. All right, so we talk about those hotels and how they're preparing. Well, Santa Clara Marriott, they are going to be having a friendship bracelet station in the lobby. Hilton Santa Clara tailgate party with free admission each day of the concert. And the Hyatt Regency Santa Clara, they will have a Taylor Swift pop-up shop in the lobby. So, Amanda, it will be a very wild weekend here. Whether you are going to be going to the concert or you're not, you're definitely going to be feeling those Taylor Swift vibes. There are a lot of people already here this morning getting into the spirit of it. I'm wearing my lavender haze coat as well. But in the next 30 minutes, we'll be giving you some tips, some things you can do to prepare yourself before going to the concert. But for now, Amanda, hi, it's me. We're live from Lee E.E. -E Vice. That was good. That was pretty good. Kylie, that was good, right? I that love you, Jocelyn, for being my non-Swifty <laughs> friend. I am so <laughs> proud. I feel like my work here, it's <laughs> done. It's done. Did you? Jocelyn, bravo. And also the purple <laughs> eyeshadow. I love that you're embracing it this weekend. Right. Hey, thank you. When Bad thank Bunny comes you, to our town, photographer, I, I, Brian Kylie, I was like, was that good? He was like, sure. <laughs> All right, Kylie. I'm just going to shake that one off. All right, Jocelyn, <laughs> thank you so much. Ooh. I know. Ooh. All right, look what you made me do. All right, we'll be back with you in just a little bit, Jocelyn.